I am here. G'day lawnies, it's Matt Dawn from Lawn Pond. Get your lawn on. I'm here at CES 2026. Promotion have invited me. Much thanks to Promotion to bring me out here. It's just such an absolute gift. And what a show that they've put on. Keynote that we saw at the start there, and that was fantastic to hear about the new mowers that are coming out. The real big news, well, there's lots of big news actually. First thing was uh, Tri-Fusion. So not only are they doing RTK, which is like your GPS to navigate the mower, and also using dual cameras, which are now 1080p, using an AI chip that is now twice the capacity of what the old Luba 2X was, which this model's taking over, this is the Luba 3, and also LiDAR, so using a laser to basically constantly 3D, 360 degree map of the area. So it recognises things like trees, it recognises things like dogs, cats, animals, balls, all sorts of things, and it constantly maps, which is an absolute amazing feature. Beauty about that RTK as well is that you don't need to have the RTK pole anymore. So it's all from the unit. So it is super easy to set up. Another feature that I really liked about this is out the box, you don't have to do this top construction that you used to have to do before. All you've got to do is put the bumper on, two screws, there's a plug in that, turn it over, and then put the side rail guards on, which are three torque screws each side, and then you're away to go. One thing that wasn't talked about in the keynote that I think is really, really special, and I don't know if I could pop this mower up here. Yes, I can. I'll just pop it up. These new discs, they're heavier. They've got a like a channel, so the idea is that the lawn isn't going to clog up there and it isn't going to clog up easily on the sides. It's got a huge battery as well. With the 15 amp hour battery, it is going to do around about almost three hours mowing time before it needs to be charged. This can almost do two acres. So it's got massive capacity. Another fantastic feature about this mower, which I'm really excited to see, is the drop mow. So you can actually take this around to your friend's place, drop it, and it'll map the area and just mow and just do the area without you having to do anything. So that is really, really good to see. And you know, that's almost got some commercial applications. Speaking about commercial applications, in the background there, what an absolute monster, the Mastodon. You know, Mimotion entering the commercial space, really, really fantastic. This mower is becoming more plug and play, more easy to use. The materials are absolutely excellent the way through as they always have been with these mowers, but they just keep improving. Really, it's becoming a plug and play experience for the home user. And also the software is just fantastic with the motion. They've really got a great package here. So this one's an all wheel drive. It's got four motors, especially if you've got a complex large area, tree roots, divots, all that sort of thing, no worries. If you've got a slightly smaller area and you want that sort of capacity, you can go to the Luba Mini, which is also an all-wheel drive, smaller, but it's only got one disc. And I use that on my back and it's fantastic. If you're looking for the real value for money series, you've got the Yuka Mini series. Absolutely fantastic. It will give you a beautiful cut and it is a great price. The perfect day doesn't end at the edge of the lawn. Now let's dive into the pool. And we are now bridging something exciting to redefine freedom here. First, it's about solving the retrieval struggle. Imagine no more manually pulling a heavy, wet robot out of the pool. Now I'm not a pool owner and there's a good reason for that because everybody that I know that has a pool absolutely hates the maintenance of it. Now anybody that's lucky enough to have a pool bot will certainly tell you that it is an absolute pain getting it in and out of the pool because it's such a heavy device, especially when it's clogged with water. 
Momotion have engineered a pretty good solution here, I think. Not only have they solved the problem of getting the robot into the water and out of the water, they've made the whole system totally hands-free and autonomous, so it means that you don't really have to worry about anything and just let the bot do its job. And the automation just doesn't stop at getting it in and out of the pool. It fully maps the pool and it has fantastic wireless connection properties while delivering a powerful performance of cleaning up the pool. A full automation is also powered by the Speedo Eskimos Pro underwater signal connection, guaranteed within 33 feet of the dock to ensure accurate return, navigation, reliable charge docking, even in deep or complex holes. Powered by an onboard AI vision camera and multi-sensor fusion, the Speedo Eskimo Pro perceives the underwater environment, identifying dirt, pool edges, step contours, and adjusting clean path for targeted repasses. S1 Pro system also combines a high-flow suction engine, quick-release rollers, and a horizontal waterline mode to remove stubborn silt, oil, and scum. It delivers stronger, clean performance with easier maintenance, keeping your pool clean every day. We can't wait to launch this exciting new product later this year. Stay tuned and check out our website. The Momotion presentation was certainly interesting. There's a lot of information to unpack, so I'll attempt to break it down for you as best as I can. The Luba 3 comes in six variants. The three models have a lower cutter height. The H series has a higher cutter height. 1500 does a smaller area, the 3000 slightly larger, and the 5000 the largest area. 1500 uses LiDAR and AI vision, while the higher models use TriFusion. The zone management ability increases through the range, right up to 50 in the max model. The climbing ability and the all-wheel drive is completely the same throughout the whole range. And the battery capacity increases throughout the whole range as well, but is perfectly suited to the area that it's designed to mow. The stats of the Luba 3 are certainly impressive, but not everybody needs the capacity that the Luba 3 offers. And Momotion recognise this. If you have a smaller yard and it's still quite complex to mow, the scaled down version of the Luba, being the Luba Mini 2, is perfect for your needs. You still have that great all wheel drive ability. The one cutting disc is certainly no less capable, it just takes a little bit longer to mow the area. And I was really surprised with the LiDAR technology on offer trickled right down to the Yuka Mini 2 series. For simpler yards, this is a very capable mower, and the price is excellent. Considering the functionality that's packed into this mower, you even get the drop mode feature, which I think is fantastic. And the Maston, what an absolute weapon this thing is. Admittedly, I didn't get much details on this mower. I'll get that in the future, but look at it. It is an absolute weapon, and it's something to look forward to, that's for sure. The Momotion staff were really helpful, knowledgeable, and passionate about having fun and making sure that you had a great experience at the show. I had dinner with some of the employees later on in the day and it really impressed me about their knowledge and how much they're really into the success of their company. Now while this display is all flashy and you've got lots of technical specs, I really get a sense of a deep connection with their user base. They really believe in their customers. They love the stories, they love the suggestions for improvement, they love everything that helps them build what I believe is some of the best robotic domestic lawnmowers on the market. I think why they are so successful is that everyone can easily get a sense of what it would be like to own one of these mowers. And I think that's really important. And it is certainly special. I really thank Momotion for bringing me here. Get into it. Momotion Luba 3, all-wheel drive. That'll be available soon in Australia, probably around about March. But uh, US and Europe, and I think uh, Asia, I think it's almost available now. Get your lawn on, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Get your lawn on. <laughs>